Oh, we on. We, hey, that boy over there dancing like he from the West Coast. <laughs> that boy finna start sea walking like a mud in just a minute. Yo, what up, what up, what up? Welcome to the Whiskey Conversation Podcast. We in the building, fellas. What's yeah, good? What's up? What's, what's up? What's up? What up? What up? What up, man? Y'all know how we started with a toast. What we uh? So so we, who's doing we, the actual toast right now? We, and who's we, doing a fake toast? We, you know we 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 losing class, fellas. We we red solo cupping it up like listen, we on some hood shit for real. You can always be classy <laughs> with Fiji. <laughs> oh okay okay. But toast, yeah, toast, toast. Right. Calvin, what are we toasting to? Uh, we toasting to this rain because it's been hot as hell the past couple days. Listen, and it's a full tsunami outside. But you right better now. know that humidity coming right behind it. Oh so yeah, you get oh, ready. Sure. Tag team. For sure. Yeah, you get ready. It's coming in full force. But man, we're gonna go ahead and jump into the show today, man. I know Austin and I already told me he got to say it with your chest, but uh, I'm gonna let you. We're gonna go. Well, you gonna go second. We're gonna go second. Okay. Um, okay. Calvin. I'm starting to think, bro, there's some validity to your uh, left side theory over here. Oh. Chill out. That's that's some, chill out. That, that is, that's, that's, that, I think this is what I'm going to say with your chances coming from. There's right. some validity Come on. to your left side theory. I, they just can't get right, bro. So, as y'all can see, you know, uh, we one man short today. You know, uh, one was late. He's supposed to, you know what I'm saying, be, he, he did come through with the bottle. I thought we was going to have yeah. our first whiskey list. Whiskey Conversation podcast today, but he came through with the bottle, late. and we and, yeah he was super late, <laughs> super late, and he Emphasis y'all can, on the y- late y'all can't really tell, but he over here oh I'm so he drenched my glass is still wet <laughs> yeah, I'm so he sure. over here drenched, but you know what the crazy thing is yeah, we discovered pocket square oh wait. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. pull it up. Just, don't y'all play me today. <laughs> don't y'all play with me today. I'm not playing with y'all. But listen, the funny thing is we discovered if he would have been on time, he wouldn't have got wet. I wouldn't have got wet. In okay. The rain. So, so we don't feel sorry for him at all. Not at all. all. Not at all. And, and, and you shouldn't. And you shouldn't. So I, let me just get a disclaimer. So I host my first event yesterday. I got home extremely late. I chose to take today Here as is. a rest day. No know. excuse. Cause it's a it's it's just a dumbass reason. So <laughs> I I I chose to go to Chipotle. I got full. I had a glass of wine. I laid down. Oh, and I said it was the it wine, is. bro. It so, was the wine, bro. So he told That's me what it was. he said I'm gonna eat this Chipotle and kick it. You know, and kick it. You know, can be a it can range from things. That right. Could be, okay. I can watch a show on Netflix. I can sit at the house, chill, hop on the computer, get some. You can butt, do all that. You feel all that. Way. You can do all that. He didn't. He didn't got thrown. Is what happened. No, I did not get thrown. I said I had stop. some wine. What was you having a Mary J. Blige moment? I know. What you, going, you, you in the crib by yourself to drinking wine? wine? You sound like a can I, yeah. Can that's I, exactly what. So, so it's against a lot of drink wine. It sounds like a no. I'm not gonna cry moment, bro. So it's against a lot. Sounds like you going down on some. I told you I didn't have no alcohol at home. Man, that's what I told you. Did you so, lose your girls? Did you hey, just, are you hey, just I, needed I, to feel hey, like hey, it? Hey, I, I feel want, like which it. Which one? He is guessing. Which one? Sweet. <laughs> okay. He, oh. oh. No, they on the way. Don't worry about it. Okay. They on the way. Don't okay. worry about it. Just, that that makes sense. Just sit with it. That, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so, so bottom line is I set an alarm for 545, uh, but I accidentally set it for 545 a.m. and not p.m. I even got up to double check and make sure it was on time, and I still don't know how it was a.m., but we here. Now, uh, I'm late, I'm wet, and it's my fault, but, you know, <laughs> we take <laughs> we take our L's in stride, so okay. I'm not tripping. And so, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm glad he made it. He's at least here. And the other person who ain't here, uh, going along with the left side theory, of course, Mr. Malad, you, you see this blank spot over there. Can y'all see that? You, you look Straight past empty. Straight you, empty. You know, there's nothing over there. Uh, he said he had to do some repairs on the house, so I guess he... You know, putting some gutters on the house or something. He he doing something, but uh, he ain't doing no repairs he, outside in this rain. Yeah, sure. yeah, he he ain't here. But now nah, we understand that, man. We listen, man. It is tough, and there's gonna be times that, uh, I mean, we not all here. It's five different people, five different personalities, five different schedules, and mm-hmm. to get all us together, man, at one time is is tough. And we've done a pretty decent job at it. So far, so th- I think is this the first show that it's we've left done? Side of the table, though. But it really is the left side of the it's table. They some knuckleheads. Hey, don't worry about it. Whatever it's you want. Don't worry about complex. it. <laughs> don't worry about they it. They don't know where they from. They just all over the place. Be simping and shit. This is the cool just, side. If y'all want to be real, 
This no, the cool okay. side. Y'all don't Whatever you women and y'all buying expensive gifts for women, no. and that's not no, your sir. No, sir. That's no, the what, terrible side. What, whatever no, you sir. need to tell yourself, you know, to you Versus know, to be. Versus we, we got white chocolate and moi. Yeah. <laughs> this the cool need. side. That's this the cool need. side. And I'm just in the middle, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. Whatever. Mike is neutral. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. But no, man. Um, yeah, man. But I, I think, is this the first episode we've done with? Not all of us here? No, no. no. Austin wasn't here couple. for the... Yeah, he oh, wasn't here. I forgot. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then and when, when I was in the hospital. Yeah. But we ain't dropped that episode, so... No, we did. No, we did. I think no, we, we did. did. We did? Nope, we never no, we did. Decided. Y'all decided not to. No, nah, yeah. Maybe we will one day. We'll run it back. I don't even know they, where it's they at. It could be the lost files. <laughs> <laughs> lost, files. <laughs> lost footage. <laughs> lost footage. Yeah, they released that when they uh, do our, uh, our biopic. <laughs> <laughs> Austin, what's your say with your chest? So you just gonna rattle your paper and smack like that? My huh? bad, bro. Don't worry about it. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> so in today's topic, we are talking about influencers, and my say with my chest is about influencers. A big, a, a big thing for me is genuineness and just being truly genuine. What bothers me about influencers is that typically I've noticed that they're not genuine when they're trying to cut a check they essentially sell themselves out. So it really bothers me when you see somebody like, oh man, you know how, how big a fan I am about blank, or you know I've always loved blank, or whatever, but if you've been their friend for a long time, you don't really see the correlation of truly who they are, and then you see this new product that comes in, but they're being sponsored. So it, it's, it's really the lack of authenticity that bothers me, is that I understand that you're trying to make a, you're trying to make a, a, a life and a business for yourself, but when you're not selling you, which is the product, the most important product about being an influencer, I feel like that's where there's a that's where there's a really big issue. And so that's that's really a frustrating point that I because I've got a lot of friends who are influencers and I see them do that and it just really gets under my skin because when you know them personally and then you see what they're essentially selling out to, that's an, that's an issue for me. I got I got two things to say on that. So number one is. What do you guys think of the phrase "fake it till you make it," right? And then number two, uh, how many of us sell out every damn day at our jobs that we don't give a fuck about? You know, so we go to work, we put on this front, this freight, this 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 facade. Essentially, I don't give a damn about this job. I'm essentially just playing a role to collect the check. So, what's the difference? between you know doing that at a corporate job and doing that as yourself and like do you have to fake it till you make it i think there's a difference between faking it till you make it and stunning stunning i think, <laughs> yeah. I, think yeah. I think when it no, comes, that's facts. when it comes to the job i think it's different from from what Austin and by the way, if y'all haven't figured out, uh, today we are talking about social media influencers. What defines an influencer, and are you truly an influencer? Now back to my segment. Uh, <laughs> That's facts. Um, I think that when it comes to what Austin is saying, you have people that get on social media, and correct me if I'm wrong, but it's a complete 180 of who they are mm-hmm. as far as the product mm-hmm. they push in yep. or the persona mm-hmm. that they're trying to give off on social media versus. You got this person that's humble, whatever the case may be, but when they get on social media, they're a completely different person. They're trying to get off this bravado or whatever the case may be. Well, this is and a, I, it's essentially a facade. Right. And I think, like, with work, I think it's totally different. With work, like, yeah, it may not be your dream job that you want to do, but that's not faking it till you're making it. Faking it till you're making it is knowing that you're doing some BS or some unethical stuff at work or doing things at work that you know go against who you are as a person. And not speaking up about it and letting them know, yeah, I'm not cool with this. I think that's that's different from everybody just working a job, even though they're not happy with it, maybe looking at something else. That's totally different. You're still who you are. But when you start doing stuff that's not who you are and that goes against, you know, how you've how you've carried yourself over your entire life, I think that's totally, totally different. I think with Austin, that's kind of where this whole social media, especially Instagram thing, has came in to where people think they're bigger than what they are because of their Instagram brand. They kind of let that shift their paradigm and yeah. their thought process of who they are. 
Yeah, and, and, the, and, and, and there are those influencers who are just trying different stuff to find out, you know, what you know, what do I want to represent? Do I want to just try this out, see if it's truly a part of who I am? Mm -hmm. And I, under, I absolutely understand that. But when it's man, you know how big of a fan I am at this, but you're just hearing the salesmanship aspect of it. They're not truly being authentic. That's that's mainly, I mean, that's really where my issue is on that. Right. That's where it comes down to. Man, and you said something um, about. Uh, social media like how it boosts people and they think they're bigger than what they really are the crazy thing is man that's where i i guess what what gets me so <clears throat> i don't know if y'all heard the story about the uh chick had millions of followers and could 2.6 yeah and couldn't even sell like 30 t-shirts or something like that to, uh was it 30 yeah, uh, yeah some, it was like some shirts. low number couldn't she had the cloud sell. but she didn't have the capital exactly and so i got a, i was in a discussion with um <clears throat> one of my one of my buddies on instagram and we were talking about um i guess he had some influencers reach out to him and was trying to get product of course for free and stuff like that and he was like he went on a rant like i'm tired of all these influencers and stuff like that i was like man it's crazy you got people with all these followers but just because you have followers doesn't mean you have actual influence mm -hmm. and that was you know what i'm saying prime example <clears throat> of a person with a bunch of followers and no, no influence at all, man. It's just, it's just crazy. I think it's like from that same ticket. If you have someone that has thirty thousand followers, and you have somebody that has three thousand, the person that has thirty thousand, they put on the event, and they can't get ten people to come. Mm -hmm. Versus you got a person that has three thousand people, and they can get twenty plus people to come. Who's really? the influencer at that time I'm I think touching I, the community right more, I think yeah. yep. I really think like what influencing has to be adapted to and rephrased as what percentage of your followers do you actually impact versus how many people actually follow you and I think a lot of people look at followers too much and say oh yeah. that's the influencer that's what we need to follow it's just like even with like high class brands like I got I have friends that are in the modeling industry and so a lot of like products and things that like need models, they're going to look at how many followers do they have. That's not, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a big thing to look at if it's social media, but that's not always a solid point because no, a lot of those no. could be ghost followers to just be <laughs> yep. fake, fake followers yep. or yep. things like that. Or I never even knew you could buy followers on Instagram to Jason, not Jason. I don't know why I said Jason. So uh, Jacob had brought it up uh, a while ago. Like I didn't know that was like a thing to where you could buy followers. Mm -hmm. So yep. the thing is, like, followers I, I, and think, likes. I yep. think the whole influencer title gets too much clout from the amount of followers you have versus the actual influence you have on the followers. And I think it's a it's a misplaced. Oh, we got a we got a mascot now. Okay, that's cool. Boy. Okay, that's cool. That's my boy Dookie. <laughs> Yeah, he gonna, gonna dookie on their suit too. <laughs> so so and I, he's gonna have a I wet, think, it, I think a it's wet a dookie suit on. <laughs> I think it's a misplaced uh, val value because a lot of people put their value in those high numbers, but when you can't sell thirty t shirts, it, it really comes down to engagement. Who's engaging? Who's mm -hmm. truly following along with you? Like I've been lucky enough, I've only got like eighteen hundred followers. But when I post a story or if I'm talking about a live, I'll have like on a story I'll usually have like 200 230 people engaging sending me comments or videos or whatever that mm -hmm. that is and that feels really good because i know i've got a core of people who are genuinely interested and they're a, a true support system so so i think what we need to do is like literally break down the word of like what an influencer is so an influencer and this is just by definition is somebody that has the ability to change the behavior or purchasing decisions of their following, right? Yeah. So it doesn't have anything to do with the number of followers that you have. You can be an influencer with a thousand followers, ten thousand followers, hundred thousand followers. It's all about the ability to influence the people that follow, follow you. Yep. So if so, you know, I consider myself to be an influencer. But I started doing influencer marketing when I had 3,000 followers. Dookie says you better let him go. <laughs> He's trying, he trying to influence you. Duke, Dookie's right. done. So, so when I had when I had two 3,000 followers was when I started to get brand partnerships. Right? Yeah. And it's because they saw, you know, my ability to create content. And it's because, it's, and it's because they saw that I had genuine engagement. 
right? So even though I couldn't leverage the total number of followers that I had because it was low, it was about the engagement. So if we want to be real, you know, Instagram only been around since 2011. It's not that old. It's been around since 2011. It legitimately took a business focus around 2014. So you talking like the last four or five years that this has become a thing and it used to be about numbers, but businesses have gotten smart and now they're starting to look at your engagement, right? So I got guys, so me and Mike are in a group chat together, right? A menswear group chat on Instagram. Like there are guys in our group getting brand partnerships with a lot less followers than us. And they also getting paid. And it's because they have quality content and genuine engagement. But to, to your point, Calvin, like, um, you know, you couldn't tell back in the day if somebody had real followers or fake followers. You know, it's very inexpensive to not only buy followers, but you can also buy engagement. So you can purchase likes and comments. So you can purchase likes, comments, and followers. And I, I think that's the dumbest trail. thing. That's you do yeah, you can bro. purchase likes, but I don't know comments. and then Likes, comments, all of it. And it's crazy because it's like, yeah, one, it makes you look good numerically. Yes, but those aren't actual people. Those are fake accounts. Those are bots. Those are empty profiles. So... Like, they're not legitimately helping you build your business or brand. They're not purchasing your product. Yeah. So it's like, what are you doing? I feel like that's the social media version of, like, fudging the numbers or, you know, just, like, screwing the books a little bit. Yeah. Because it just – it's not genuine and it's not the truth. It's not the matter right. of fact that you're putting on a facade that's not truly you. But I think that translates over to – it's crazy because it's kind of like the same way that – uh, that the music industry is now. I think, like, J. Cole dropped a verse on it. Um, I forgot. It. I think it was 21 Savage song or someone's song where he was talking about, like, how many people, like, using machines to, like, boost their boost their playing numbers because everything's based off streaming now. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can have machines that yep. stream your album to help boost your album numbers, and that's a lot, what a lot of people do in the industry. And you can, you can definitely tell that's what a lot of people do on the social media because it's just like... Like you can see somebody one day and they have two hundred likes, then like a couple ne couple weeks later, then they got like six, seven hundred likes. Then it's a couple, I'm like, okay, how you getting this big spike yep. in likes? There's right. no way right. that the ratios the, don't right. add. Yep, up. Right. yep. <laughs> like, right. Especially for from, sure, like, you can tell even from a female standpoint. I don't care how much half naked you get, your your likes don't go to two fifty to seven hundred to twelve hundred. Yeah, in, in for a sure. month, two months time, it for just sure. don't happen. It just don't like work that. like that. Not organic. Unless unless yeah. you just got featured in some major magazine, right? Yeah, or something. Unless like you that. went like, viral. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that that nothing like that happened. But this is what this is the question I was so, asking earlier, though. Do you hate on. the player or the game? That's and so that's what I was going to add. I was going to bring that full circle to what you asked. So is that faking it till you make it? Yeah, like like dude. using those different hacks, like even in the music industry, using those machines to bu to boost your your streams until someone takes notice I mean, of you. The the thing is, yeah, it's a cheat code for sure. I think when when it comes to those people, and I feel the same way when it comes like Instagram stuff. I feel a lot of people egos are boosted by how many mm -hmm. likes they get on their pictures like that's they for sure and we talked about this maybe a couple weeks ago we talked about validation people get their validation off instagram for sure for sure and so like sometimes you got to humble some people like i'm gonna say that could be a yeah. humbling yeah. experience like, too. Yeah. like, like, to I, was like I don't care how many likes you got on your like that don't mean nothing to me for sure yeah like, you can have like a lot of and i and i, I can only speak from a male perspective because yeah. i'm not a female they may view it as males but because that's what they attract to when yeah. it comes to females a lot of females' egos get boosted by how many likes they have on their Instagram. And so when they're out, they have, like, they carry this chip on their shoulder. Like, they, like, just the baddest and the bougie. Because like, the scene is fame yeah, and I'm, notoriety. I'm just, like, so. I'm just like, none of that, none of that, none of that social media of stuff. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It means yeah. nothing. Yeah. It, I, it means nothing. It is reality, but it's not. You know what I right. mean? Yeah. It's crazy. Because it does mean something to some people. Yeah. So to your initial question, Literally. when you said faking it till you make it, for me, like, that... That term means something. That that term means something different. Personally, for me, I think of like fake it till you make it. It's no matter what's going on, like you're kind of putting on a good face. Like if your life just sucks, your business isn't going well, and you're really just taking steps back, you've still got that positive attitude. Like you know what, this is gonna be good. I'm back against the wall, but I'm I got this. I'm 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 gonna keep pushing forward. So you've still got that brave face, but on the inside, you are scared. On the inside, you are worried if for if this sure. is gonna happen or not. For sure. so that that's how I took it but if you're really following the fake it till you make it mantra 
I don't think there's going to be any validity and you're going to come to a harsh realization that there's there's not going to be a payout off of that. If you're just f- following a cut of check, if you're following the money trail, money can come and go mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. It's um so so to that point people just need to understand that there is power and truth and transparency. Right? So, yep. you know, if your business is struggling, if you know your life is falling apart talk about it you know what i'm saying you don't have to sit here and be in front of people you know you know you know wearing a a, a front or a facade acting like everything is okay like sometimes when we tell people about our trials and tribulations and the obstacles that we face we actually get more engagement because of it Mm -hmm. now i'm not saying that you have real yeah because it's just being i'm just telling the truth at that point like the reason social media is so hard for so many people is because you faking you are faking like legitimately get on social media tell the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth which i started doing a year ago and social media to me now is nothing right so you know i used to struggle with captions i used Mm -hmm. to struggle with comments i used to think damn i gotta say something like super profound like yeah. I need to say something substantial, like bro, like literally just tell people what you're going through, <laughs> tell people about your experience, right? And, and, and there does need to be a balance. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna yeah. say, like it can't be there... just one sided or the other. Oh, like, for yeah, sure, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, for sure. People are like, is that truly you? But if you're like everything sucks, you're going. I don't, I don't want this negative energy. No, not at all. So not I mean, if all. you balance it out, you're like, you know what, man, it gotta was a good be balanced. This was a bad day, but I've learned from it. Exactly, it's gotta be that balance. But you so frame the bad in a way that it helps people. But is there is there a such thing as too much sharing too much Hell of your yeah. per, your personal life on on social media and, and i know we've just talked about we just touched on uh instagram but i don't get on facebook as much anymore just because like just it's just crazy bro politics. like some of the not even just politics just people's personal day you ha- you feel the need to post everything you do at every little moment or yeah. whether it be Facebook on Twitter whatever we're really know, not that media. interesting if you think about it like bro we're not shit, but, I'm, we're, but I'm interested <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna keep you in the team with some, with some ignorance see, I'm gonna tell you what Calvin posts Jim in the car <laughs> after a haircut Jim that's bro. it there you go <laughs> There you go. Hey, Every hey, time we get a haircut, play the yep. same track, same bro. Song. Signature thing with the bevel blade. It's a major key. That's, it. I, that's I, his I'm whole do page. A Calvin impression. Be He's got there, like, just play the same song yep. over and over. That's, that's the point. Hey, work and poems. I'm sorry, and, I forgot. And, and breakfast before breakfast is what he. I ain't put this work breakfast. out. Do some before. Do some before two. <laughs> hey, that's it. Hey, hey, you need to get you some breakfast before breakfast. <laughs> I'm dead. That's funny, man. But no, man. Got one dead. But that's that's cool to do, like, because that's your routine. That's what you do. So your page, of course, is associated with poetry. It's associated with fitness. It's associated with uh, being a capital, being a family man, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So posting that in your story is cool. But, like, my everyday personal life or I'm sitting at home, like, for me, like I'm at home and I'm chilling with the kids. That's a part of my page, a part of not yeah. really my page, but a part of my story. And which I think that should be different things too. Like your story, of course, is everything you you know throughout your day. Yep. But I and I'll share that. I don't mind sharing my kids. I don't mind sharing my wife. My wife hates being on Instagram or Snapchat or whatever. But I'll share that yep. every now and then. But like just everyday personal messages. Like man, I'm going through it. I had a tough day. I got. Uh, shot in my leg. I blah blah blah. Whatever. Like, what is you me? Went what kind of days are you, you having? Right? I'm just, I'm just saying. This is, this is stuff you see on social media. Like, yeah. just that. What is me attitude? It's I think that's mentality. a fine line between being transparent and just having this ne- exactly yep. this negative connotation that wears on people. Like you, you bring people down. Like, there are certain people yep. I don't want to see their posts because they bring you down. Like, yeah. So that for me, like, is it's just too much. Like, I think there has to be a fine line of being transparent and oversharing. And I think also, I mean, people are ruining so many great moments by just being on this stupid piece of plastic. Because if you're looking at a moment, you're like, oh, this is great. Let me take a picture of it so I can remember it later. Well, why don't you put your phone down, and actually be invested in be the present. moment, yep. and you're going to remember it more that way. Like, I went when the episode I wasn't here, I went camping. I really didn't take that many pictures. What I enjoyed more was 
being able to try to retell the story because I wanted somebody to experience it. Right, the, Not, one pit, the one picture you did take was cold, oh boy. He's looking like Walker, Texas Ranger. Appreciate Ranger. that. So appreciate no, that. that ass. <laughs> Tell you what. He was looking like Wild It was on some survival shit for real. I was thinking yeah. about yeah. knocking some heads. That's all uh, I was thinking about. Yeah. <laughs> you were deep in thought like you was about to go kill like a grizzly. Yeah. Yeah. My like, bare hands. You know what I'm That's why I had my sleeves rolled up. I, I see. I oh, see. Yeah, yeah. I, I see it. You had the main and everything ready, dog. It was ready. Regain the main, baby. Just tell you what. But, I mean, but. Are you keeping tally, bro? Heck yeah. Okay, cool. I was <laughs> just checking. But, I mean, seriously, we don't know how to be in the moment anymore without just, like, taking a video. Like, when you go to a concert, if you think about the people who are on the other side of that, they're getting a low-quality video, muddled audio, and they don't even get to experience the energy. Put your phone down and just enjoy oh, that hold on, moment. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now. Now, I think like, when it comes to concerts, you can definitely enjoy that energy and record it. Yeah. When I go to a J. Cole concert, I'm definitely feeling the no, energy. No, no, no. He was but talking to Mike, though. He wasn't talking to you. He was oh, talking, talking to Mike? Android users. <laughs> He wasn't. Well, he, he said muffled audio, video, bad video. video. He was talking to Mike. Okay. He wasn't talking about you, you, bro. Yeah, yeah, listen, that's why I take pictures. I don't do video. <laughs> Android will bless you in the and, picture and department. No, it won't. And it's a no. metro piece. Nah, like he I don't still use got his no plastic metro on his outside yeah. camera. Listen, what is it? T-Mobile is the same thing. Listen here, don't you, don't you, don't you disrespect <laughs> Sprint like that? Oh, Sprint, T-Mobile, Metro, PCS is the same thing. So you got AT and T. I got Verizon. Ah, oh, chill out. No, nah, yeah, that is that is top of the line. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Listen, my wife has Verizon, and when I say don't miss a call, we can be in the wilderness, and her phone's still working. I be Jeez. I be like this, just trying to <laughs> find <laughs> signal, bro. Can you hear me now? Yeah, can but, you hear me now? Yeah, no, <laughs> I still that ain't even my tagline. <laughs> but no, nah, man, yeah, it's man. But that's, speaking of, that's the first influencer. If you want to think about it, like the like the first like pillar. Of influence that mm -hmm. I probably can remember as a kid. So you're what, saying of what, our generation? Of our generation okay. was okay. the Verizon guy. Because he was in every Verizon commercial. On. And like that phrase, that phrase like caused people to move to Verizon. Like that was like that catchphrase. But was and it? Now he's with Sprint. Now I don't know how much influence he's going to have. Nah, people move. Not, but, but not at all. Like after any of his videos, he goes, did you hear that? So it's kind of like a like a subtle kind of like dig at Verizon yeah. instead of, you know, can you hear me now? It's, did you hear that? And he walks away, which is that, what he always did. That's funny because I had my person that I, I thought about. I thought about him because I was going to actually bring up who was the first influencers that you remember. Jared from Subway. Yes, that was Jared. the dude I was going to say. Was Jared, Jared, Jared from Jared. Subway. And Jared in jail. That was Jared, 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 Jared in jail. You, you, you took him right out of my Man, mouth. That, fool, that was the guy. That I was gonna say because every Subway, bro, everybody Sub was Subway in Subway. Stock prices probably went up doing exactly. like oh no on. facts. facts. Subway, Jerry from Subway was. I mean, well, we don't support Subway him now. eat trash, and he's in. I'm dead. He in jail. He in jail for doing some very uh, bad things. Some very inappropriate. Some things that we don't support. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. But that, well, that we, was we that can even roll it back before that though. Who you got? Because like my my first influencers were in the hip hop industry. So when you think back, and maybe this was before our time, maybe it wasn't. But when you really think back, what do you feel like to DMC, no, yeah, time? like <laughs> well, well, shit. no, was like Nelly with Air Force Ones. What's up? So you knew so, it was going. I always gonna go back to St. Louis. Run DMC one, yes. Yeah. I was gonna say the of the two that I was gonna say is um, Carl Kanai and Fubu. You know that's how they got on. So like those brands were totally unknown, and then they put their clothes. In music videos, so they was like, "Hey, Tupac, can you rock this? LL Cool J, can you rock this?" So you like that's legitimate influence of marketing. But, but and when Kooji. people saw it in a the video, they were like, "I gotta cop it." But are we talking about? I mean, but that's just general marketing, though. Well, I'm thinking influence. I'm thinking of that's one influence of marketing. I'm thinking like one person that you can identify with a product yeah. that influenced people buying their product. I think Mike, Mike, Biggie with Mike Kooji. was good. Jer Jared from Subway yeah. was probably like the most yeah. iconic person Huge. of That's our sure. time as That's far as sure. like an influencer. We just didn't have social media at that exactly. time. Exactly. Right. But right. everybody was going to Subway. Like even if you weren't trying to lose weight, you were still trying to go to Subway because yeah. you had Jared and you had five dollar foot longs. You was going to Subway yeah. either way. Those are actually six twenty five. Disclaimer. <laughs> now they are. <laughs> no, now they are. At that point, now they, they were five dollars. Right. Not anymore. So, they had everybody singing a song and everything. Bro. Five. People yeah. pull up disappointed. Five dollar. Like, five dollar foot long. <laughs> My gosh. 
Same. Wow. When they added the meatball to that joint, it was on, bro. <laughs> so, how the fuck do we remember that, bro? Because it was catchy. It was catchy. And that's bro. how they made all their money. It was catchy, so, but but you talk about individuals. Uh, I guess you got to you got to throw Jordan with Gatorade in there when he did the Gatorade joints, yep. and even with uh, with him and. Um, his own brand. Him and, uh, of course, his own brand, but him and uh, who, when they did the McDonald's commercial, was it Larry Bird? Right. Mm-hmm. When they did the, uh, they but, was pretty much playing. But, but I'm, I'm thinking more so yeah. just your average Joe, though. Yeah. Not 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 celebrity, because that's, yeah, yeah. that's easy. That's, that's different, easy. yeah, yeah. I'm talking about your average yeah, Joe. Yeah, it got to be Jerry, bro. Jerry was probably the first average Joe yeah, that came Jerry, out. Bro. It was just like, that just impacted a business's dollar and bottom line yeah. so strong. Yeah. Yeah. It got to be Jerry, bro. It's funny, though, how, how many businesses have adopted that same philosophy since then, though. So, you know, there are some commercials like Progressive. Flow. You know, for Flow. Mm-hmm. And Old you Spice. The, it's all the Old same. Old Spice with the, the, the black guy or the old every white guy? Every time. No, the, the black guy. With the black okay. guy. Listen, he's he's look with, at your man. Uh, look he, back at me. He's You're with Hulu. <laughs> he just keeps <laughs> going. You're like, I love so this. He's not with them anymore. He's with Hulu. Right. And that's yeah, the only Hulu. thing you've seen him. Right. But right. 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 funny, there was a crossover once where he's like, ladies, look at your man. Look back at me. It's not an Old Spice. It's Hulu. And he just goes right into it. You're like, that was so smooth. But again, on that point, though, you got Old Spice, even with those sex, he's like, those are people that are like, I guess you can say "quote unquote" paid actors for the commercial. Mm-hmm. Now, granted, Jared did get paid, mm-hmm. but shit, Jared was just Jared was a guy that you could have in today's day had on Instagram and just had, "Hey, it's another day at Subway. I'm down this many pounds. Thanks to Subway." I think like Jared was like the very first like just regular person. And that and that, and that that goes to your point. Like he's a regular person, and I think with regular people. When you when they're not famous, they're not athletes, entertainers. Uh, the connection is there because people can relate. Because it feels it's real. like oh it's man, genuine, he yeah. he work at a factory like I do, and then here's this guy that went to Subway and ate sub sandwiches and lost all his weight. So it's yeah. it's something that you can can connect to, something you can relate to. It's like he's living your life pretty much. So, so here's a question I was going to ask you earlier. So you, you know you had identified the the term and the definition of an influencer. So who would you say is somebody that – who would you say is somebody that is considered an influencer but truly doesn't have influence? Fame is not a factor here. Somebody that's a social media influencer? Whether it's social media or – They call themselves an influencer but they don't really have They may influence. not call themselves an influencer but they may be identified by, by an influencer. Y'all trying to drag people. <laughs> that, that's a real one. <laughs> Call the folks out. Anybody. Like oh. for me personally, just average people, and it's just taking them to like status. I think, like I'm, I'm big on comedy. I'm big on comedians. So like when you think of uh, Desi Banks, King Karan, uh, D. Lay, B. Simone, mm-hmm. uh, w- Must Watch Jazzy, like those are like just what well, average people who were able to take off through Instagram. So now they've been able to get like brand partnerships. Like I think uh, most of Jazzy, she does, she has a fashion over partnership. They all do. Yeah. Yeah. And then King, King Karan, he, like he be doing ones. like, he, yeah. he does other yeah. stuff, but they all have like different stuff that they can do. Yeah. But they're able also, they can bring people out to an event that they're going to be at. Yeah. So to me, I think those are like prime examples of influence. If you, if you go to a city, and you say, I'm going to be at this club or I'm going to have this event or this event. And you get people that come out in the city that you live in and another city that you go to. I think that's really a sign of a true influencer in my eyes. Do, well, and that was going to. The, the, the question ahead, was, who is considered an influencer but really isn't? I don't know. That's tough. I mean, I've got to. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you you, yeah, you, 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 you got to drag people. Right. Yeah, hey, you say you, you got the answer. Speak, speak on it. Hey, get it, get it off your chest. I know a lot of people. Speak on Austin it, is but. coming for all y'all in Dallas. <laughs> this, I have no, no. It, we don't know where this is going. Who it, you, it, who it, you it's not Dallas. Austin, Austin about to take down Just everybody in the suit game. Austin coming. Austin coming with the dagger. I'm gonna say any of the Kardashians. 
No, no, they got no, influence, no. bro. No, 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 no. I said fame is separate. I think they have fame, but what do no, they do outside no, of that? They got influence because you got to think. There's too many women that try to be Kardashian. Yeah, they got they got influence. I I bet you they got uh, probably a partnership with a plastic surgeon somewhere. Oh, what, oh, they what, probably, what they do, people. They follow. probably got oh, makeup. Yeah, absolutely. They where well, they do have makeup lines. They have clothing lines. So they definitely have influence now. I get what you're saying because yeah. it's like, what talent do you have? Yeah. What, how did you get I think this? It's, it's it's like a return on your investment nah, outside yeah, of they beauty. They definitely got they, they got influence, bro. They they they. No, I'm, I would they, consider that fame. I don't consider that influence. I think that's separate. It's but one of the same. Influ no, influence but, is again, if you can get somebody to go buy what you have, what you wanna, do, yeah, to want to be like you or to try to obtain the things that you have. That's the influence. Look how many women go get their lips with uh, them injections because, oh, girl, yeah, what's that, up? Yeah. So, <laughs> like, that's how I'm dead. Like, but, but, uh, like, it's, so, it's so many. It's so many. <laughs> We're at four. It's so many women that try to be Kardashians that you can't really say that they don't have. Exactly. Anything. Because fame no, is not, influence, Austin. Fame, I'm not going to lie to you. Influence. Fame is inf influence. is not fame. But fame is influence. Like, when you got three million followers, bro, if you post Yeah, I won't say that. Follow, I, don't like, think, I don't think. I don't think Rob Kardashian gonna influence nobody to do No, because that sock line, he ain't moved nobody, bro. Right. His yeah. socks like, actually were good, like, though. Or even, or even like, or even, or his even, socks or even Ray J. Them. You know, Ray J do them, uh, the buds that's not AirPods. He do his own. Nobody's going to buy those. Hey. Like, like there are there somebody are, gonna support though. But Somebody gonna support a, a close friend. Raycons go hard. Let but, me just I'm say, they're gonna build a billion there, dollar company. But there are there are some got celebrities that commercials don't even ask because they know. They're not going to have any influence on the needle of the culture to buy a certain product. So I don't. I don't necessarily feel that fame necessarily brings influence. I feel like if you're in the A-list of fame, you can influence. Them and he had, he actually does about. pretty good in the tech world. Let me just say that. Oh, yeah. Let me just and, throw and that. And that, that was more. I mean, I, I didn't articulate it as well as he did, but that was more the area that I was coming from because I don't. To me, I don't see anything genuine from them. Of course, that comes from a slightly biased because. So you I, just I don't, don't like them. Like them. <laughs> I don't no, like them. Yeah, but they, either. but they do have. They definitely have influence. I know they influence, have influence, bro. but I mean, like, what are they influencing? A lot. They influence a lot. They influence the culture. I don't know what a lot means. In the fat, in they, the they, fashion, they influence you got to think. They influence fashion. They influence uh, cosmetics. They influence they women influence behavior. behavior. They influence. What you like Shit, as far as style, how people bro. feel about their life, their body, everything, bro. Like, they touch a Kardashian, lot. Kardashian's Do you think got they would feel uncomfortable about their bodies yeah. and their wardrobe? Do you think they would continuously be on whatever network they own if they didn't influence or move the needle some way? They have a huge influence. Bro. I know they have influence, but I just, yeah, it's, it's just, just like, not positive influence not to positive. you. Yeah, I don't think, but they have influence. influence. <laughs> but yeah. those as, valid or not. Yeah, See, exactly. And, and that goes back to my original view of influencer. Like, there has to be a positive influence. For me, when I view that, it's pure. It's not pure necessarily. It's not, that's not, not necessarily to have to have influence doesn't mean. I mean, it doesn't negate you having influence just because it's it's not positive. Because well, not, we want to say positive. It might not be the influence that you want them. To yeah, have, that you associate with. But it's still, exactly. but it's still influence. I would, now I don't agree with their influence. Yeah, and, and I, I absolutely. And keep in mind, I, I, I said I didn't Kardashian. say they Every did last influence one of them from the mama to all three, of the, all, three, four of the daughters. Rob, cool, cause he stay out the way. But he a simp. Nah, he look crazy. He a dude. simp. <laughs> but I, 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 I hate the Kardashians with a passion. I feel that the mama taught them how to sex their way to fame just yep. like she did. And You're hey, stupid. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why he is the wild card. I don't care. The mom, the mom was letting OJ hit when she was married to Bob. Oh, okay? good Lord. Okay. I did. One of the Kardashians may be OJ. <laughs> Speaking of OJ, OJ y'all see him on Twitter? Y'all see the video of OJ, OJ on Twitter? OJ now an influencer, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I didn't. Hey, <laughs> speaking of, but he's an influencer, too, when he did the rental car joints back in the day. and Bro, yes, the, yes. He's a, he was an influencer, too. That's For crazy, sure. bro. That's crazy. I, I, yes. That's crazy to even think about that. But we know you don't like the Kardashians, bro. It's cool. We so, don't like them either. Well, I, we don't and, either. And, and I said that... The, and, and I want to make this clear too that, like, for me, the definition of an influencer is like a positive influence. Everyone has influence, but when I'm saying an influencer, it's like there's a positive. But they do have a positive influence. They they influence businesses positively. Yep. Okay, well, that's basing it purely on money. But there's influence. If we're talking about social media it's influence, the, we're I'm talking basing about, it off the person, not purely on money. But they 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 influence the industry that you're in. Yeah. 
My, my the whole, men's industry? Yeah. No, but you're yes, it's your your sub your sub industry is men, but you're you're in fashion. I still don't like it. <laughs> just gonna leave it at that. Still don't they like influence it. that. They influence your industry. You just bro. don't like them, and like they influence. They influence. They influence. influence beauty, cosmetics, all of that. You know what I'm saying? That's, but 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 that's the under your. Point, you, you I, do. I know what I know what he's saying. If Kim Kardashian, you just won't let me have my moment. If, if that's Kim okay, that's Kardashian wore a suit tomorrow, you're gonna have some women that's gonna yeah. Austin. I need the suit just like Kim Kardashian had. Can you tailor this? Well, I've had like, that. Happen. It's, it's I've had. I've have legit to. have gotten two. Uh, even. Um, not Courtney. What's the other one? Chloe? It might be OJ. Yeah. Chloe, uh, yeah, Chloe the one that's <laughs> might be in the so, Chloe is the one that could so, be OJ. So her, like, she wore a suit, uh, and, like, it was, like, one shoulder and the other shoulder was gone. Yep. Like, bro, I've gotten, like, four or five DMs. Can you make this? I've gotten that. I've gotten Beyonce. Oh, yeah, I've gotten, gotten Tyra Banks. I've gotten Beyonce. I've gotten all of that shit. Yeah. They influence And the they, they move the needle. Yep. And so that's what we mean by influence, whether it be in a positive light or, or positive to you, I say. But but we know you're a saint, so that's why it, it pisses you off. But. So so when you when you follow somebody on social media, three things will happen: either you will affect them, which is positive, that's what you were talking about. You will infect them, which is negative, right? Or you will just create no change at all, right? Like people will follow you and forget you. But those are the only three things. You're either going to make a positive impact, negative impact, or people won't remember you at all. Those are the only three things that will happen. Until you just pop up on a page. Right, right. And they remember. Right? So, you know, I just want to roll it back to how we started this conversation. I don't think, and maybe this is just me, that there is anything wrong with social media. Right, there's nothing wrong yeah. with social media. There's nothing wrong no. with this phone there's, in our hands. There's nothing wrong with it. It all either. depends on how you use it. Right, a lot of people like to bash social media, and a lot of people like to bash spending time on your phone. That's how I make my money. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel bad about being on my phone five hours a day. I don't feel bad about you know being on a trip with my family, and being on the phone because that's legitimately how I make my money. So it's all about how this shit is being used. Like society has told you to, you know, put the phone down, be present, and that social media is a bad thing when in reality it's a good thing used the right way. Right? I, Y'all just pe- people I, I don't could agree with the that. Right way. I think the thing about that too, <clears throat> and it's probably older people, but the interaction level between people is lower. Is oh, it's definitely crazy. different. Like, definitely different. So like you'll go So to your point, that to has a, infected our society. Yeah, you go to oh, a re- you go to a restaurant and you see As you a know whole. What I'm saying? it's a couple they're talking. They're not talking or or, ha- or conversing with each other. They're both on their phones doing yeah. something. So I think that's what people a lot of people speak to. And then what I said earlier about oversharing. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Your everyday life. I think that's what more so the side of what people are speaking to, not for guys or people, not just guys, but people in general who are trying to create opportunity or, or, or take it. I agree with you. I'm just yeah. saying there's a right way to use it. But that's yeah, like I agree with you. This is the right like way with, to do it. With my family, and I got I got reminded of this a couple weeks ago. We was at my uncle, like last week, we was at my uncle's house, and I had my phone. We was at the table eating. My uncle would walk behind me like, hey, you know the rule? Put that phone down the table. Because it's old school. Like, right. ta- the table, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like, you, can, you can use it. You can use it, like, while you're at the house. But, like, while 100%. you're at the table with family, Put it down. you're going to be interacting yep. with each other. Yep. Put it and it's, down. I mean, it's the same way, like, when I'm with my girl. Like, she got on she got on me about it earlier. So, it's like, now, like, if we, like, out eating or it's just something, I try to, like, at least put it down to the side till we go, like, do something else. Then I, like, use my phone. But I think, yeah. I think. To Jacob's point, the social media or your phone, just period, is good if you use it in a positive manner. But I think we as society have to be able to find a balance to be able to For use sure. our phone. For just sure. Just still being able to have yep. personal interactions without like just being glued to, okay, what ESPN is yep. saying or all right, what whose story or what's this video somebody I sent me. I think I think there has to be that that balance because there are like people that cannot have an interaction with you without their phone I like yeah, or, or can't or can't yeah. give you yep. any eye contact yep. because they so worried about what's going on what's going on yeah. at the moment and, I've got and, and you said that about your uncle my, my mother-in-law is the same way 
and she when you go to go to their house, she calls it a no phone zone. Like <laughs> you might as well yep. put your phone up, go yeah. put it in the room. That's how my like, crib is. Because you, you on your phone, they be like, get off that phone, or you know what yep. I mean. Interact with your family, interact yep. with the kids and my wife. She has to remind me whether I'm you know, I'm sitting here looking, and it, it's not even on social media. Sometimes I'll be researching things like that. But when you're at home, like you got to be present with your family. Yeah, hold on, Mike. Before like, you before you keep going, somebody look up when the cell phone was actually like made. Keep going. You you, you want to go to the bag phone or what you want to go? <laughs> no, I'm legit. I, like, I come up in the bag. Like, phone like what was you talking to like the Nokia mom, brick? Mom had, mom had I'm just saying though, no, because I know my, Are you talking about the Nokia phone with snake? Just look up for cell phone. Somebody just the look it up and then might continue. Yeah, yeah, the bad yeah. Phone was in the 80s. But that's what I'm saying. You talking about the Zach Morris like, joint? With my mom was born in 1960, <laughs> so she grew up in a time where there wasn't no phones. I'm sure y'all parents are maybe not that old, but around the same age. You say, hold now, up. Your mom was born. My mom was born in 1960. They had the rotary dials back then? I'm dead. Not a phone, but a cell phone. phone. Oh, okay. Like, when, when <laughs> was the <laughs> first <laughs> smart? You know no, not phones. <laughs> Somebody Walking look around up with a string and a cup. Like, <laughs> I'm like, I thought, I thought at first I thought you said 18. No, I'm like, no, like the first legitimate was smartphone, things. like the first cell phone that had to be in the late 80s oh, or 90s. Smart, no, smartphone, smartphone, first smartphone, was smartphone. Was smartphone. Was Sprint made it. Nope, was it? Sprint, Sprint had the very first smartphone. Well, if you want to count BlackBerry, but the very yeah. first like touch screen. When was that? Was when Sprint made the Instinct. When was that? That had to be 2000. Probably 2006. I, nah. Cell phones been around since then. Nah, cell no, phones. We talking about smartphones, touch screens. Smart smartphones. That, had, that nah. It, it was the first one? Nah, it was literally like 2000. I want to say maybe it, it 2004. Was, it was early 2000s. Maybe 2005. Yeah. Like, it was early 2000s. Really? Sprint, Sprint had the very first touch screen phone. It's the Sprint Instinct. Wow. Oh, well, well, well my point was, you know, they grew <laughs> yep. up without it. Like we we grew up with it, they grew up without it, and that's why they yeah. have those philosophies Bro, you know and the, that principle. So you know the crazy thing, and we're talking about smartphones. Do y'all remember how to get to places without GPS? Yeah, I do. Once I go one time, Map I quest. have a good memory. No, 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 no. Map quest. No, oh, no. you talking about? Oh, yeah, Map quest. No, Map quest. Before, even Map quest though. <laughs> No. Even before MapQuest. That's before Land we talked, Mike. Do you remember how you got to places before? You had to actually know directions and landmark. Different yeah. landmarks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, I'm, see I, can't, I can't go on a map. I'm a need, landmark kind of driver. You need to go driver. down the Thomas Street, bro. Make a left at the church if you, that's on if the you, corner. If you get to the McDonald's, you went too far. <laughs> Bro, that is that's real. That's I remember, real. Like, I remember my mom on the phone talking to people how to get to their houses, right? And those were the, the directions that she wrote down. Like, if you go to the McDonald's, you went Gone too far. far. Yeah. You need to come back yeah. and turn right or turn yeah. left right here. Yeah. And it's crazy just to think about, like, how far we've come. Yep. And, then, of course, we're not talking about social media, but just phones in In, general. like, 10, 15 years. Bro, it, it ain't been crazy. long that we didn't have yep. this, Because, I mean, because even MapQuest was, like, MapQuest was, like, a new thing. It yeah. was hard, bro. For yeah, sure. Okay, I can go by <laughs> Point three miles, down the, and you really trying to estimate point three miles, and you looking for your street. But like before then, bro, they ain't uh, have none, none of that. that. Mm -hmm. none like of I was talking to my, uh, me and my father in law was talking, and he was telling me how they got from, uh, from Texas to California. Like he had to sit out there and really look, like pull out a map and what roads to take and like how to get there. And you know, you get the cat once you get to Cali. Like, it's what, I ain't never been there to L.A. It's what, six-lane highways and stuff? And six, you Six-lane, I mean, not six-lane. Cali is like, it's too many damn highways. Yeah, bro. So <laughs> it's you, too many highways. So you out there with all them highways, and you you got your passenger looking at a map trying to navigate you. Can you imagine it, bro? Like, I, you can't man. see you can't see streets from a map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all yeah. you can see is major highways. Nope. Exactly. Exactly. Nope. So they're trying to navigate their way from all the way from Texas to to LA he was talking to me I was like man that's I was actually crazy. thinking about that the other day like I walked by like just a road map I'm like who buys this anymore <laughs> like star serious. maps it's <laughs> your star maps old folks <laughs> that's what I'm saying like they've move. got theirs too <laughs> some some old their... people are like ah, I don't want a phone I don't want social media I do things the old way you yeah. know what I'm saying like lost his hell because them highways didn't change buddy shit they probably get around better than we do with that damn map <laughs> <laughs> don't look a lot different. Hell, no, they, they, let them be on the phone swerving and shit hey, where them, am them, I going hey, I'm telling you <laughs> them maps don't update just as quick as them uh, GPS <laughs> <laughs> do, that map don't tell you it's construction <laughs> right. exactly. and that yep. the whole highway exactly. shut down yep. you better you better update buddy <laughs> 
no, man, but it's crazy, man, just to think about like how far we've come, like in a short period. And of I time. look, yeah. and I, I, you talked about like negative connotations and stuff like that. Looking at social media, man, how much stuff, like as far as news scandals and stuff, in 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 the entertainment industry used to go on, and like it. It didn't really spread or how much stuff people would get into that you yep. really didn't know about because there was no social media. Or even if it did spread, like rumors now or scandals now don't last as long because the next scandal is coming and it's posted on social media. Mm -hmm. Denzel Washington did a uh, – there was some interview that he did and he was talking about that and he said what's sad is that you don't even have to be right. You just have to be first. So do you want to be right or do you want to be first? And she's I remember like, that. And I'm going, that is so right, because so many people put out stuff. Yeah. And I see so many of my friends on Facebook posting this and that. And because I would mentioned politics earlier with, you know, all the elections <laughs> and the debates and the candidates that are going on right now. People are just blackmailing everybody back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And you look it up and it's all based on their opinion. So it only solidifies their stance, yes, uh, but it doesn't truly bring facts. It only truly solidifies their opinion and their perspective. So, uh, I think that theory depends on the subject too, because if you do that in sports, they'll kill you in sports. But like, no, like, like what, what he was saying about you don't have to be right; you just have to be first. I remember when uh, when Nipsey died, and everybody started posting Jay Z opened up a fifteen million dollar trust, and it wasn't whatever, true, and it Fake wasn't true. Tell. But everybody was posting. Nobody that like, shit is annoying. Like people don't like we've gotten so old to where we don't even. Remember, Google is a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, We've gotten to that stories, point. Like, even if I see, like, sports stories, and I'm like, is this trade That's really happening? Sketchy. Like, I'm, I'm going to Google it. Look it up. And if it don't pop up within the first five stories, it's not true. It's not true, right? Like, and do I your think, research. Like, people, yep. people, don't, people don't do their due diligence no. in research and stuff. Not at all. And I think, like, even. Trusting they, the source. They, and don't, that, know, and they that, don't have a valuable right, source. And that ties back to the whole influencer thing. I think. With the, with the influencer thing, there's a lot of like products that people are like paid to sell and market on their platform, and it's only gonna work if you have people that's not smart enough to research the product. So if you're trying to yeah. sell me some pills or a membership at this private gym or something like that, you take it at face just, value, just based off an influence telling me, hey, you should do this. Nah, buddy. If I'm gonna spend my money, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. Google. I'm gonna Google right. to see what's going on, yeah. like Get with that this, ROI. and then I may use it at that point. And I, I think that's a that's a big part. So where like we as a society, me, I'm, I'm I'm researching, but there's a lot of people that go based off of if somebody tell you to wear fashion over, or you got somebody to tell you, you need to get a Cadillac to make you feel like yeah. people don't people don't research like. I right, what what's like is fashion over a good investment? Because there's a lot of people that tell you fashion over is trash. There's a lot of people that is. tell you it's no, good. It literally is. So <laughs> quality wise, I mean, I'm just saying quality like, wise. When I first heard, I was like, fashion over. This don't even sound like it's gonna last. <laughs> and I mean, but people still buy but it. But a I mean, lot of people flock to it. And you know what I'm saying? So I it's think trendy. I think it's just it's just a matter of when people do research and what people feel comfortable with when you talk about from an influencer standpoint. Now, from an influencer standpoint. If you making people buy this stuff, I mean, you lived up, to, your, you lived to, up yeah. to the title to what of you're doing. Yeah. Let me yeah. ask y'all something. Have y'all ever uh, posted or did a campaign for uh, a company or a product that you normally wouldn't wear or didn't agree with? I mean, I, we, I'm with you. I, no, I mean, no, 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 we, no. We, no we, I have We market I whiskey have. there. I ain't never drank before. <laughs> Every no, that's, episode. That's different, though. That's like. No, I have That's oh, like. You're talking about something that just goes against. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, I, well, no. I won't even say go against, like, your your moral code, but, like, something that you, it, like, so, for instance, I'll, I'll say it. So, I've had a company. I've had a couple of companies that have hit me up and send me stuff that I probably never would wear. Like overalls? Never would, never would purchase. Are oh, you talking about like when you <laughs> dressed never up would like purchase. Uh, called out? Like, uh, like he was in dip set with that called <laughs> out with that, with that green <laughs> called <laughs> out with that green <laughs> coat <laughs> and them overalls? Look at dumb. Looking like he was straight out of dip set. The safari like jacket. Like, on his mouth. Looking like Rico from Paid and Fool. You talking about that outfit? <laughs> <laughs> somebody somebody hey. said that to you, Mike? That was sent to you? Ding, ding, ding. It was sent to him. 
It was sent to Any you. nigga owe me money, B. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but. Was that sent to you, Mike? The safari jacket went hard, let me just say. Was it sent to you, What Mike? about the overalls? He's Mike, was that outfit subject. sent to you? Yes or no? To change the subject. I'm not trying to call out that company because they're actually a good company. But was it sent to you? That's all. Yes, yes. it was sent to okay. you. Okay, well, that's, that's, that's all we know. wanted. <laughs> that's all that's I actually know. a good company. If y'all want to know what outfit, right here. If y'all want to know what outfit we talk about, go on Mike Payne. Yeah, and, and look for the overall. When one, when one <laughs> shit is no longer present. <laughs> Oh, we need to get some blackmail on. No, because I've done something with them before, and, and it, I I flipped it, and I made it my style. That one was tough. I'm not going to lie. That yeah, it, was, was it, it was toughly terrible. Yeah, it was That's looking like was. Austin camping. Look at that. I, wow. I, I, I came on my story. <laughs> I screenshotted that so quick. I said, what? What is this? Boy, he said that to me so fast, bro. I remember you. You. Yep. The group roasted me. Bro. You fried you, and bro. I And I was sitting yeah. there. Yeah, I, bro, I've never held a post like post like sitting there looking at a post <laughs> so long in my life. <laughs> like do it, not do it, do it. Should I do it, not do it? No, like yeah. I sit there, I sat there and held that phone. You, you bro. look like you were straight from wait. New York, B. Wait, 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 wait. Straight from New York. Let, B. Let's get to the real question. Did they pay you for it? Oh yeah. What did they pay you? Are to sell you? your soul. No. <laughs> oh, no. sell my soul. Yes. What did they pay I you to sell your soul? You didn't soul say the company out. name, I'm so not, what did they I'm pay you? Oh, shit. What did they pay you I'm for the post? I'm not going to that, but I got paid. I, I had to negotiate. You, you There's a difference between you 50 and 500. You, no, you no, definitely no, sold no, no, 50. No. You definitely sold your soul on that outfit. You sold your soul. And you know why? I was like, this man got overalls, a white tee, a dip set jacket on, and an army Vietnam hat. What is going on with Mike? Look, with the long boots. boots. With the long boots. With the long boots. And then he followed it up with earbuds literally right after that. <laughs> Just overalls, bam. I was Headphones, like, I was like earbuds. Mike is out of control, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, hey! Real talk though, I was about to call you because I thought you was going through something. Hey, Mike, come out. Let's just be clear. Like Mike I thought you out. was going through something. I was like, he was selling soul for that check. <laughs> Mike will sell it. Listen. Man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got him. I, I was trying. Yeah, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. But you know what? It's crazy because that moment made me reevaluate things. It made you a look at life differently, huh? <laughs> you, I was just like, that was your mid life crisis moment, right? I there, guess huh? so, bro. It was like one of the moments. It was crazy weird, doing. Weird. <laughs> doing the photo, crisis. Doing the photo shoot. My photographer is cracking up because he know me. Like he's like. Like, bro, this ain't you. Why are you doing this? Like, hey, literally, ladies laughing. and gentlemen, if you want to get He's an image of this picture, check. just imagine Rico <laughs> off paid in full with his with his foot with one oh, foot up geez. on a tree stump, looking off Morgan. into the wilderness. <laughs> just imagine that, and that's what that picture looked like. <laughs> and just imagine that outfit on Mike. With his foot on a tree stump, looking out into the wilderness. <laughs> Bow like a I don't even. Think he had, did he have? His, and he had his glasses on. Hey, look no, I had. I had some, <laughs> It's bad, bro. Yeah, I ain't gonna even. I'm glad Just, I deleted I'm, that. I'm gonna come to your defense, though. I'm glad I deleted that. All but, right. but it was a moment like, okay, it was. A, it was really to say. Please don't say to say you versus. You got to lie. No, 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 right? no. It was not a good example of your versatility. It wasn't for versatility, but it was more so in my mind, right? You was, was high. To, you was high when you got that. <laughs> she was high. No, I'm not about to lie. It was to to get some under my belt to say for negotiating purposes to say that I've done paid pay campaign. Yeah, is what it was for. And I actually like the company as far as what they do, what they represent. They have tapered overalls. But, but it wasn't my. <laughs> it wasn't my. It wasn't my style. And it did. <laughs> did he had the boo boo platinum overalls. <laughs> did they have cuffed pleated? It didn't fit with with my style, my everyday you said it didn't wear. Fit you? No, because <laughs> bro, they overalls. Fit. They fit everybody. I, I already they, know. They, they sent Michael five X and everything. Listen, <laughs> listen. The only thing that fit was the hat. <laughs> and the hat was too big. Was tight. The hat, no, the hat was too big. No, the hat, I put it like that, like to hang it off. Look, Mike, you, already, know, you look like you was a stunt double in Anaconda. Listen, That's what I, already, you look like. I already know this is going to be a video clip. Like. This is going to be a video yep. clip. I already know. Clip. I'm clip, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, what I'm, what I'm you got? You. I'm going to come to your defense, though. I feel like so you're going to shoot a shot, though. I ain't never sold my soul, ever. Oh, but you coming to my hold defense. Hold on, though. Bro. I'm about to help you, though. Go ahead. Okay. So, 
Like I, I legit delete five to ten brand partnerships on my email every day. <laughs> like I actually had Lugs reach out to me for a campaign. <laughs> Shout out Lugs. They was about to pay me $300 to wear a pair of Lugs. I said no. And I declined it. I've declined Reebok. I've declined like. Oh, you legit. tripping? Oh, shit. Bruh. I would have liked Reeboks. Reebok sent me some answers. I don't wear, I don't wear sneakers, bro. <laughs> I don't wear sneakers, though. But that's the thing, though. It's not, so it's not on brand it's for your me. It's brand, bro. So, like, so, you can pull it out. Because you, you work out and you we see you in casual wear. And so that's why I said, like, it was you, can't, one you of, can't hit them with a suit and sneaker fit. I mean, you, not you, with you, not with the shoes they wanted me to wear. They were like, wear this track jacket, wear these pants, wear these shoes. It's like, bro, I don't have anything like that on my page. Well, how about how about next time they they email you? You tell them to email me. I will forward <laughs> You tell your friends to it. get with my friends. Bruh. And, and it'd be like, like, and be and like listen, I got a tall, better looking man than me. You need to get Damn, some shoes. better right. looking. Was that a slug? That's the thing, though. Like, all of these bang, brands bang. that reach out to me also agreed to pay me. And they agreed to pay me, like, a lot. And I say no every day, every day, every day. But when I was starting, this is what I was getting to. I was faking brand partnerships. Oh damn! So wow. like, literally fake it so till you make it. Wow! Yeah. So I legit. I think the first time I ever did it, I posted a picture wearing some Cole Haan shoes. I said these are the lightest shoes I've ever worn. Thank you so much to the team over at Cole Haan for you know like giving me these shoes, right? And then I did that with a fossil watch, and then I did that with, wow. and I took that content. <laughs> no, but listen though, no. oh, and I man. and I took that content. I didn't think my respect could see, and I lower. leveraged you, it for actual brand partnerships. You, you, you these same influencers we be talking about, dog. Yep, bro, that was 2016. A cheat code. You, you did a cheat That's code. It's still on your resume. Today. It's not <laughs> on my resume now. because cheat now code. I got legit shit. But that was but, your, but that was your stepping stool. That was definitely cheat. fake. That was fake until that's the true. That's the true example of fake until you fake it. Or am I just playing the game? They're like, yo, can you send us some samples of what you've done for other companies? Cool. Let me have this photo shoot with a pair of shoes and a watch and maybe a suit, right, that technically I didn't get, but I can still create content like this for your brand. I but you could have, I guess the, the how, wording. How you going to make a press kit The wording you ain't got nothing to add to it? Yeah, but the word, I guess the wording could have been different, like, Still folk, lied about it. If you could, you could have been like, at, at, you could have said, said Cole Cole my game. To me. Yeah, exactly. No, you if you purchased you would, those, yeah, yeah. it was all shit that was on brand. But you could, so <laughs> at least you I'm better you than Mike. You could have <laughs> highlighted the shoe. <laughs> at least Mike got no, it. but my <laughs> shit was received. Like I, it might I didn't really buy my shit. It might have been received too big. Y'all talking about I'm dead, but he received it. Y'all talking about today? I'm talking about three years ago. Chill out, bro. Chill out, bro. No joke. That was not a year ago. That might. Have been this year. <laughs> yeah, that was this year. No joke about like three or four years ago, and this is still when I worked at JC Penny. <laughs> Dockers actually sponsored me. But Dockers like are trash. That's nothing wrong. Stop. They, nah, they are. Nah, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Dockers. Nah, you can khakis of the two thousand. My nigga, you can get you a nice. You can get you a nice quality pair of chinos from Dockers. Nah, bro. ain't nobody bought no Dockers since like oh Chill out. yeah. Six. No, it's been a while. But then, but chinos, like, you really ain't got it. If you get them tailored and tapered, bro, you ain't really got it. You don't got no. But ain't nobody buying Are dockers. You, I mean, yeah, you ain't going out. Are you gonna get dockers. those uh, overalls tapered too? No, bro, no? those are gone. Not right, even right. in my house. <laughs> <laughs> they they should have never came into your house. There we the go. There we go. Don't let it infest. Okay. Y'all not making two clips out of me. Fuck that. Y'all can go on and <laughs> bang, make bang. your point. <laughs> um, no, I, I actually did want to say this earlier. So you were talking about, you know, different. I don't know if you're talking about like different brands or like influencers saying, "Hey, you should buy this. You should buy this." I actually do want to give a shout out to a a, a really dear friend of mine. Uh, his handle is El Dandy Cubano. It's Norberto. Um, he's he's more of uh, cigars, and so he's somebody that I truly trust as as a friend. But his taste in cigars. I mean, he's somebody if you're wanting to get into cigars, really great guy. Um, he'll tell you like the flavor profiles if you're just getting into it. What you know what you should do. But he's one of those people like he smokes at least eight nine cigars a week like he's smoking them every day trying out different brands and and he'll even tell you he's like this one's not good this one is good i don't really like this but i do like this one he's somebody who's very very genuine Trust so i think that goes back to. so it goes back to the source like in that example like he's not a brand he's not a company or anything he's just somebody who enjoys cigars and he gives his honest opinion because he's very studied and he actually has that experience because he just he's paying it out of his own money and he's helping you 
understand it better, under, understanding a different culture. But you know the thing, too, that I was going to mention earlier, I think the thing that comes with influence, too, is consistency. Yep. And so when you, if you follow Naberto, you know that he he's like you mentioned. That's his lifestyle, nine, exactly. Yep. he's consistently smoking or posting about smoking, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And so it might mm-hmm. to build influence. I think it takes time, and a lot of times yep. in this day and age, we're looking for that quick. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But wait, cl- clar- clarify that real quick before you keep going. It's not consistency; it's a consistent message. Yes, it's not posting consistently. You know, no, 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 yeah, 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 Making posts, right? I'm in this suit every day, and then I or I'm jumping from how I dress. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I'm like you said, I'm posting consistently messages, but my posts aren't consistent. But if you're consistent in your message, yeah, like you mentioned, like he's consistent in his message uh, about the cigars, and it's like okay, so this is a person that I can come to. This is a person, yeah, who carries some weight, and he could educate me on things because yeah. Nabertos and me. I've I've hit him up too and was like, man, give me some give me a list of some new cigars I need to try. He put me on the matter of fact yeah. this past weekend I went and got the uh Olivia Olivier and, and you told me about Oliva. that too. Yeah. Milano. There you go. Yeah. Bro. Great smoke. Bro. Great smoke by the so way. So great. So I went and got that and he told me about that um like months ago and yeah. I just never had a chance to get it. And then you confirmed what he said. But like like you said, yeah. Consistency and uh, and not really consistency, but consistent message. Yeah, it's like the consistent message. The um the beautiful woman that he's dating is actually her name's Wendy. Uh, she's Wendy Darling. Check her out. She's fantastic. But what's great about her message is that she lives a different lifestyle. Like she is typically wearing dresses. She's out enjoying good food, drinks, and and with with good friends. And she's more old school, like old fashioned inspired, but that's truly who she is. Like if you ever met her in person, that's truly who she is. And that goes back to the consistent message of this is the type of person I am. And this is the lifestyle. It's the lifestyle that comes in too. It's not just the career or the facade that you want to put out. It's the lifestyle that follows it. Definitely. Definitely, man. And with that, man, we're going to go ahead and wrap up. We've, We've determined that Mike is not an influencer. <laughs> <laughs> you know the crazy thing else. You know the crazy thing about that though. I actually am. I, you I, are. I, yeah, I, you I are. really you am. Not with them damn overalls. <laughs> nah. no, no. You, didn't, you didn't move no needle he in the culture. What with not those. to do, ladies and gentlemen. Bro, what not bro. to do. I actually did. You'd be surprised. I actually did. And so. <laughs> oh, by the way, we have seven deads. No weeks. No facts. Seven deads. Okay. Seven dead. Day one is. We weeks. were dead this episode. Yeah. We were, dead. we were dead. Dead a lot. But, nah, we appreciate y'all for joining the Whiskey Conversation like, Podcast. Like, subscribe, No, exactly. Share. That's what I was about to say. Y'all be sure to like, subscribe. Comment. We are on Questions. YouTube. We are on Apple Podcasts. We are on SoundCloud. SoundCloud. Y'all be sure, man, to engage with us. We love your engagement. We love the feedback. So y'all give it, man. And we go live, too, when we record. So y'all be sure to follow us. Give your handle real quick. Uh, handle is um, at underscore J C Scott S C O T T at Gentleman's Avenue at Calvin the spell with a K underscore underscore J at Calvin underscore underscore J and I'm at Mike T the gent and uh, our guy Mr Malaj he's not here today is Mr yep. underscore Malaj and we are also on IG at the Whiskey Conversation Podcast y'all be sure to follow check us, us. Out, check us out we appreciate Comment. y'all we'll holla peace. Look, I am.